Okay, more out of interest than anything. Um, I've been intrigued to know where the uh, roll-off uh, is occurring in this amplifier. So to t uh, narrow it down, what I'm doing now is I'm feeding the audio into the uh, power amplifier stage, and as you can see, volume control makes no difference at all to the level. So I'm feeding power directly into the um, power amps. So all the preamps are out of the circuit. Basically, the only circuits that are working are these two vertical balls here. The audio is being fed straight into those new caps I've replaced. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do another frequency response, but I need to set the levels from the uh, Hewlett Packard now, as, as the volume control is not functioning. So 19.0, uh, let's set the power to... No, oh, I need to take ratio off. 19.0 special. Okay. Why are we not... 19.0 special function. Thank you. 30 watts. Oh, I see. Each time I turn the gain up, it, look, it drops back. Okay. Okay, let's do it at 38 watts then. I'm going to put the power shouldn't make any difference to the frequency response of the amplifier. So that's our. We're running at 1 kilohertz, so we'll go into. Um, ratio mode again 0 dB and then we'll start the sweep again Point 0.1 of a dB roll off not a lot of a roll off there I think that's better isn't it interesting to see what happens at 20 kilohertz Flat as a pancake. Look at that. So it just goes to show that the power amps are absolutely perfect. They, they, their frequency response is about 0.5 dB from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So, yeah, that proves to me that any caps in this power amplifier stage, audio-wise, don't seem to be suffering a problem. It's probably uh, coupling stages in, the, uh, in between uh, the tone controls and things like that will need replacing. But uh, thanks for watching, and... Uh, Maybe some more to come.